Hello. Okay, so let's get right into it. And it looks like she was wearing green contacts. So I'm already wearing green contacts. It took me a while to look at all the lenses out there and I wanted to find like the one most similar to her eyes and I found this one from IOTD It's the Kana Rose Nude Brown I'm starting off with some toner I'm gonna use this Chanel toner I feel like she really likes Chanel so I thought it was fitting And of course, I've heard about her buying fake designer items. I agree as a public figure, she probably shouldn't have worn fake designer, especially on Netflix. But I also think that everyone makes mistakes. I'm also gonna use this Hydra Beauty Chanel toner. Yeah, so everyone makes mistakes and she's already apologized. Everyone deserves a seven chance, so I think people should stop being so hard on her. And it would be so nice to see her back on Instagram and YouTube. Oh, by the way, I used this moisturizer. It's the CauseRx Advanced Snail Moisturizer. I love it so much. I'm using a white cast sunblock. I use this every day. I'm using foundation first. I'm using Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in 110. I think it's like the lightest shade because I am pretty pale. Honestly, I just use my fingers because I've used beauty sponges in the past, but they don't apply as well as my fingers. And instead of like spreading, I kind of just pat it. I feel like that really helps it absorb into the skin without looking cakey. If you're wondering why I'm doing my makeup in the kitchen, it's because my bathroom lights are kind of yellow. I guess my kitchen lights are kind of yellow too, but the lighting here is better. This Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer is the best concealer ever. I've been using it since high school. I just put it over like little tiny areas to make my face look a little more clean. She has no moles anywhere and I have two right here. So I'm gonna try to cover that. They're so dark, it's hard to cover. For my nose, I usually do like a light line of concealer down the middle. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Soft Glam Palette in Burnt Orange. Like it looks like she extended it like all the way to the end. That's where we're gonna put our eyeliner. And then I'm gonna use Dusty Rose on the same palette, more on the bottom. So leave like an outer glow of the burnt orange. Brush off your brush a little, like this. Burnt orange again. And put some on there. Now, her eyeliner is very thin and it goes like up, so I'm gonna mimic that. Her wing is really thin. I usually like doing my wing a little thicker, so I'm curious to see how this is gonna look. I'm using the Stila Stay All Day double-sided, so this one's thick and this one's thin. Naked Urban Decay Palette. And I'm gonna use dark side color and just go on the ends of it to create that like outer smoky eye. I'm using the, a thinner eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go into dark heart and do the same thing but really close to the eyeliner line. So right on top of the eyeliner line. Follow your eyeliner. I always use a Q-tip to make it a little wingier. I'm using my Morph, Morphe Morph palette. It broke, so the top is gone. A light gold shimmer. This color, put it right under. We're gonna get a thin brow brush and get this rustic brown color. 
Like an under eye line. So it's basically accentuating this. Blend it out a little with a Q-tip. Okay, with that same brown brush, the same rustic brown. Looks like she kind of lined the inside of her eyes with brown eyeliner. And she followed the bottom curve of her inner eyelids. Yeah, she lined the bottom of her eyes with brown. So I'm gonna be doing that. I'm gonna go in the inner corner of my eye, just on the bottom tip, and then draw a little line out, like this. Blend, 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 what a cute tip. Okay, she definitely has just a little bit of mascara on the bottom. I'm using a super old Mascara, I don't even know the name of it because it's so old But I only use it for my bottom lashes So I use this old one first because it's drier so like the clumps So I'm gonna use a new one for the little clumps that she has For eyebrows, her eyebrows are lighter than mine and a little thinner So I'm gonna take this auburn color right here and just go in Try to make my eyebrows lighter. Her eyebrows are super straight. I have a little line at the outer corner. Brown eyeliner. Interesting little outer corner, outer corner action. Okay, now we're going into the nose contour. Her nose is definitely more higher than mine. I need to contour it like crazy. I'm gonna use this NARS contour, I got it for free. Oh. I'm like so not used to nose contour, that looks so odd to me. Let's go in with our setting spray. I use the CoverGirl Clean Matte in the lightest shade with the beauty sponge. I'm just gonna go along the top of my nose contour. So we're gonna go on to blush. My favorite part, NARS Deep Throat. I do want to soften everything out, so I'm gonna try to soften everything. Then I did like the outer corner lip liner, this color or this color. I think it's both. I think it's a mix of both. This necklace I bought on Amazon and then I went to Michael's and I just attached these little things on them to make it look more like her necklace.